Hey, what's going on everyone? Today is February the 21st, 2022. Is Ford a buy now after we saw this dip? Look at my price chart, right? We saw the price in Ford go lower recently. Is now the opportunity to come in and buy this stock? Well, I'm gonna give you all my thoughts as to whether or not Ford is gonna to continue to go lower or can we actually see the price go up so that we can be prepared. So that we can try to profit into the market moves without the confusion. So if you guys like it, hey, join the team. Hit the like button. Should have been also subscribe here to the channel because this is what I do. I pay attention to the price. That is the only thing that is important. Only thing is the price. Nobody else is worried about anything outside of where price is going. Can they get it for a cheap price, these instruments, or are they paying too much for it? So why would you try to pay attention to everything else? The only thing that matters is what everyone else is trying to do. I mean, look at this chart in Ford. This is a very bullish chart. I'm not going to lie. This is a very bullish chart right now in Ford. This is what you want to see when people tell you that they holding stocks for the long term, because in the long term, you're looking forward to the market to do what Ford is doing. You're looking for the price to continue is upward trend even in midst of when price comes down you still expect the market to go up in the long term this is what those who say they are long-term holders are looking forward to this is what you want to see you don't want to see a stock that you're looking to hold for the next five years do this you're starting off on a very good foot right you're seeing the price go up in your particular stock the market continues to trend higher but then all of a sudden it goes down. This is not what a long-term stock acts like. It does not do that. This is a market that is telling you that we peaked and that don't expect in the long term that you're gonna get a very good run. You're not gonna get that. So I'm looking at Ford, cause you can see all the way back since 2020, here we are, March of 2020, we're two years in and this trend is still intact. That's a good upward trend. This is what a long term hold looks like. So now we've we saw the weakness in my last video in Ford, which was on February the 2nd. OK, so we can't act like we're surprised to see the stock go down. I already told you back in February that be looking for the price to go down. It has so pretty good call. Twelve point nine two percent. Good. Now, the question is. Are you buying here or are you going to wait to see the market come down and test this long term trend? Because this is where we're going to get the answer. If this long term trend is going to stay intact and forward. Yeah, right here. So let me show you what happened to the market in forward um, on a weekly basis. OK, Just to show you what I think. All right. So let me zoom in. Now, I want you all to look at these weekly price bars here. What do you suspect? Do you still think that the trend is still involved into the market and forward, or do you think the weakness is here now? I mean, we've seen the, vo the volume increase. Look at all that volume. Someone has been selling the market in forward. This is forward on the three weeks. This is where the induction of selling started. So for anyone who was like coming in by the market in forward, the last three weekly price bars is literally telling you that we're not done yet. Not from a three weekly price perspective time frame. We're not done yet. If you would have saw this three weekly price bar, you should have said, yeah, this market is massively weak in four. We might need to get prepared to let the price come to this trend now. Right. So now let me go ahead and show you the two weeks time frame. We're still seeing the weakness right here so I think we might see I, I think we might need to lower how low we think the price can go in for I mean because now if we're not looking for the market to stay elevated above $17 I mean maybe it might be around 16 and that's like I said it's going to test the trend and the market in four look at forward on the monthly because we're going to have what seven days left on this current monthly price bar. What do y'all think? This is where the restriction area is. This is where the sellers are lurking right here into the market. 
okay, around 21. So even if we were to see the price go up and forward, if the market is not able to break back up above $21, hey, I still think you know what to expect. We're gonna be doing like this, all right? You could expect that. So now, let me go ahead and show you what my expectations are into the market in Ford. Okay, you guys can even tell that this area is restriction too. Now restriction simply means that this is where the sellers are at, right? That's the first area, 19. If price doesn't ever trade above $19 in Ford, we're still massively weak. I'm just dropping you all some knowledge right now. Now, in order to give us some idea and some cushion, like I said, the biggest area of restriction now is going to be up here around 21. Okay. So let's run this. Let me show you all what I'm looking at. Let me bring this down a little bit lower. Because I'm still looking for the price in for it to go down. Okay. Still looking for it. Brings it back over to the daily so we could kind of keep track of the market on a day to day basis. Let me see. Okay. So now let's go ahead and drop the prediction on the chart. Okay. Um, right now, we're going to expect price and forward to continue to go lower, but not massively, because like I said, we have to pay attention, right, to this trend. The buyers could literally approach the market in forward and keep this market from falling on this trend. So the two price targets, first area is still going to be around $17, right? We can still see the buyers approach the market in forward at 17. If they do cut the play, take that 5.82% and be happy with the market opportunity and the profit and move on to the next play. Next area is going to be down here towards 16. I still think that market in forward is going to hit around $16, test this trend. If the weakness continues, we are definitely going to be in a bearish market in forward from here on out. This 2020 bullish trend that started in forward is going to be broken. And you should not be bullish into the market once that occurs. But until that time, maybe around $16 is what I'm looking at the market to go now and forward. Okay. Now, I know I got $21 as the ultimate area of restriction. But like I said earlier, eight, $19 is restriction, even up here towards $20.50. So I'm going to hold around $20.50 so that you all can see the market movement in forward going forward. But generally, yeah, this market is still a little bit weak, not massively weak, not yet, because this trend is still intact. The moment we break that trend, then we are massively weak and forward. Just saying. So now it is your turn. Hit me up. What do you think? What is your price prediction? What is your forecast into the market and forward? Let everyone know. Make sure you maintain the profitability. And as always, trade different.